Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United facing Manchester City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukasz Fabianski stands between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. Declan Rice starts alongside Tomas Socek in the centre of midfield. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Number one, Lucas Fabianski. Number five, Vladimir Kufa. Number four, Kurt Zuma. Thank you, London Stadium. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Jared Bowen. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, the threat is there. Chance for Gundogan. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box not away completely well on the final analysis not quite precise enough goal kick here Lucas Paqueta good visualisation and execution couldn't quite hang on well, he stopped it out of there without much fuss. He's given it away. Antonio. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. City know that wide area is really opening up. But they took care of the situation defensively. Paqueta. Surely. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Playing it in. Great pressure to win the ball back. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And a fine cross. Can he take the chance? And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Well, he decided to let the play flow, but now he's going to issue a yellow card. Yeah, I think that's good refereeing. He... Opportunity it is. And it's come off the keeper. De Bruyne. Are they going to forge ahead? Just couldn't get it through. Over it comes. Now can they counter clinically? De Bruyne. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Throw in for West Ham. And he successfully got past him.
Intelligent threaded pass here. Just couldn't capitalize there. Ederson. On the ball, Ruben Diaz. Not a shocking pass, really. Paqueta takes aim. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. Back playing again. West Ham with the advantage. Paqueta. Jack Grealish. Well, a failure to keep the ball by Manchester City. Paqueta. Not testing the keeper at all with that effort. De Bruyne. Grealish. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. Riyad Mahrez. And a textbook interception. Jared Bowen. He's got space. And a useful cross. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Antonio. Well, they might be onto something. And Manchester City looking for inspiration at this corner. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they keep it going? Ben Rama. Can he finish this? Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace. Just couldn't finish it off. Jack Grealish. Oh, a fine block. It's going to be a City ball. An alert piece of defending. De Bruyne. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And it's gone in. Just what was needed for Manchester City, who now have squared it. So back on the way. One goal apiece here. Kevin De Bruyne. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And the referee's whistle. That oh, the threat is there. So back underway. And an intriguing second half in prospect. Grealish a very timely interception can they hit on the break oh lovely weighted ball they might be in as eyes for goal oh what an astonishing goal almost from a different postal code that was as clean as a whistle you cannot strike them any better than that
Well, let's take another look because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better. So City get things going again. And the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Now they stop them in their tracks. Paqueta in possession Bowen it's a good looking ball in behind well he's been ruled to have taken up an illegal position only just however Stuart well he loves running off the back of defenders but on this occasion he's just gone a fraction too early not what he was intending bad pass this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity and the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position Real chance. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. And now the delivery. And he succeeds in striping it off the line. And successfully cut out. An incisive pass. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Oh, defensive resilience in the end, that's all that matters. Holland. 30 minutes left for play. That's a nice looking ball. Tremendous intuition to win it back. A matter of keeping his composure. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Back playing again, West Ham with the advantage. Substitution for West Ham United. Grealish. Now Holland. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Ings. Nicely timed tackle. astute piece of defending and the counter-attack is on options available Ings and into the last 20 minutes Holland and back with Grealish Holland this could square the game and that's exactly what has transpired now that could be a massive turning point and momentum is with them and level City. again here 26. this has been quite the roller coaster ride substitution for West Ham United Greenish. Must take the lead here. Really important tackle. A City free kick forthcoming. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Manchester City coming off the pitch. Number 25, Manuel Akanyi. To be replaced by number 6, Nathan Akanyi. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Well, threat about it. Now can they counter clinically? To be replaced by... Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances, and surely a goal is coming. 
Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. And a goal here! Accuracy with the header. Just what they needed. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. Surely! They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Ings, can he finish? And pushed away to safety. Well, he just let his opponent glide by. Pablo Fornals. Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. Perfect tackle. And Bernardo Silva has it. On to Grealish. Can he get one back? He's foiled them on his own. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. Oh, good vision. And it's in! They've eaten into their advantage, and this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Ings. Cornet. And he's broken free. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And a red card it is. Denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Well, as soon as he made the tackle, he knew the outcome. That's an easy decision for the referee. This could square the game. And it has. Such late excitement. And no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, for neutrals, this is a joy. 5-5. Five, five. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? And looking towards the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, the natural fact. They cannot be set.